Alright, hey guys and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi and we just got the community transmission for Anakin Skywalker. Yes, that's right. The Chosen One's community transmission is officially here and we have a look at his abilities and star cards as well as some more information on the Chosen One himself. So I'm just going to get straight into it. There is a lot to cover. I'm going to skip a little bit of an intro, but I'm going to talk about the bringing Anakin to Star Wars section as well as all the cool stuff that you guys want to know. So getting right into it, it says with the arrival of the Chosen One comes one of the strongest light side heroes in Battlefront 2. Anakin's ability to unleash a barrage of fast devastating attacks is unlike any other Jedi and set him on another level. While his offense is practically unmatched, his defensive capabilities aren't up to the same caliber. Anakin won't be able to sustain his block for as long as some other light side heroes against lightsaber strikes, but he is still very adept at deflecting blaster bolts. His lightsaber attack deals 140 base damage and plus 40 from behind. And additionally, Anakin has a base health pool of 850 and a base regen pool of 300. So that's going to be awesome, guys. He's got a lot of HP, which is what we wanted from the start, and his base regen is quite good as well. Now, it says quick to anger at times, Anakin's passionate strike is an overwhelming vertical slash that he's used in many fights during the Clone Wars to break through his enemy's guard. Just as he used against Count Dooku before disarming him, even the strongest Sith Lord's block will be rendered useless against this heavy attack. So timing it well is key to taking down enemies as it will deal full damage against a blocking enemy. This ability deals base damage damage of 180 to heroes and 250 to non-heroes. So guys, it's going to be a one hit for all infantry and 180 damage to heroes, even if they're blocking. So that ability sounds incredible. And I can see now why the devs were talking about him being OP. Anyways, continuing on, it says Anakin isn't limited only to his prowess with a lightsaber. Tapping into his incredible powers with the force, Anakin can unleash a powerful force blast all around him, similar to what he did against the son and daughter while his friends were being held against their will. While using his heroic might ability, Anakin steals himself in place and focuses on concentrating the force within him, charging the ability while taking a reduced damage reduction of 90%. During this time, the radius for this ability will increase. However, the radius will also increase passively as Anakin funnels the damage he would otherwise take while charging the ability. With the ever-increasing blast zone, the damage the ability deals will also increase exponentially up to a maximum of 400 damage and a minimum of 100 to heroes or 130 to non-heroes. So guys, Guys, this ability sounds hectic. It's pretty much a charge up ability, kind of like Obi-Wan's push, except it's going to be all around him and can do up to 400 damage. That's absolutely insane. Anakin is definitely going to be OP. It continues on to say, however, should you wish to bring the enemy to you rather than pull them away, pull dominance allows Anakin to reach out and heave his enemies towards him, similarly to how he did against Barriss Offee when she betrayed the Jedi Order. Any foes caught in this attack will be ripped into the air and dropped down in front of him in the range and at the mercy of his powerful lightsaber strikes. This ability does base damage of 70 and 100 to non-heroes. Guys, it's kind of similar to Kylo's force pull, which I'm not super disappointed about. I wanted something that would help close the distance with Anakin, and this sounds like just the ability to do it. Moving forward, it says as Anakin and his allies take damage and as he inflicts damage to his foes, his raw power will build up alongside his fury. Once this ability is fully charged, Anakin will be able to unleash his retribution onto any enemies unlucky enough to be in range. I'm assuming this is supposed to read Anakin will punish his enemies with a force choke similar to Darth Vader's ability except this one like heroic impact has a 360 degree area of effect and will affect all enemies in its area. Upon use the charge resets and can be built up once again this ability does 100 damage over time to heroes and 150 to non-heroes as his anger flows through him Anakin takes 90% damage reduction during this ability's duration. So there's a lot to take in there guys again I'm just going to go back through it. Passionate Strike is Anakin unleashing a heavy strike, breaking his opponent's guard and dealing high damage. Heroic impact is Anakin is more resistant to attack while holding the ability. When released, he pushes his enemies away from him, the range and strength of his attack being multiplied by the damage he would typically be susceptible to. Pull dominance is where Anakin pulls the enemy towards him and retribution, yes, that's right, a fourth ability. Retribution is Anakin's powers intensify whenever he and any nearby allies are attacked, building towards the ultimate punishment of a swift and inescapable grip seizing all enemies around him. So that last ability sounds super OP. It's basically a 360 degree force choke. I can't wait to see the animation for this and it's going to be amazing. So getting into the star cards now, we have Tenacious, which is an increased max health. Reprisal, which is the health recovery, so health on kill card. Massive Strikes is a lightsaber damage increase. Pressure is going to be Passionate Strikes damage increase. Fierce Fighter, Passionate Strikes cooldown reduction. Control the Force is going to be Heroic Might Radius 
increase. Raw Strength is also going to be a Heroic Might card, but it's going to be a damage increase. No Escape is going to be Pull Dominance Distance increase, and all of them will be a Pull Dominance Damage increase. So basic star cards, guys, similar to what we've seen already. There is a bunch of voice lines. I'm not going to read through all of them, but I will have a screenshot pop up on screen. The one thing I do want to note is that they did add the one voice line that we all wanted, which is, I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. I'm really glad they added that, so I'm super excited to hear it in Battlefront 2. His victory poses, we don't have shots for, but they are called I Am Ready, I'll Take You Now, Onward, and Brace. His emotes are, this is where the fun begins, you call this a diplomatic solution, Obi-Wan's gonna kill me, and a wise Jedi once said, nothing happens by accident. Super excited to hear those in-game, I think they picked the four perfect emotes for Anakin Skywalker, and they'll be great to see on the 27th. He's gonna get two appearances, being the Jedi Knight appearance, which will be his base one from episode three, and his Jedi robes also from episode three, which is gonna look amazing. I hope they do a hooded version of him later on, but yes, it's gonna be awesome. Now, I don't know if this is a typo. It does say Anakin will soon be deploying onto the battlefront with his loyal 501st Battalion on the 25th of February. Now, I'm assuming that's gonna be a typo because I thought it was the 27th, but I could be wrong. It may be the 25th, but we'll have to double check that. Stay tuned to the channel for all the information and updates on that one. Anyways, I am going to get out of here, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Smash a big thumbs up and comment down below what you're excited most for for The Chosen One and playing Anakin Skywalker later on in the week. As always, thank you so much for watching. I am the Twisted Jedi and may the Force be with you always.